So Adam, thank you so much for joining us today uh, to talk a little bit about your work at LISC. Things I know about you include you love baseball. I do love baseball. You're a big fan of the Cubs. Big Cubs fan. Uh, you're a musician. Trumpet player, yep. Trumpet player, okay, yeah. very yeah. cool. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about how you came to work at LISC? Sure, so, um, so I've been working at LISC in our DC office um, for a little over three years now. Um, and before that, I was a public school teacher in DC public schools, taught in my neighborhood public school. Um, and before that, I was a public policy researcher. So mm. a winding route, um, but ultimately came to list out of a desire to really work on, um, on housing and issues around racial and economic segregation. So specifically, what do you do at LISC and what kinds yeah. of people or organizations do you work with? Yeah, well, if you ask any program officer or program staff at LISC, um, what do you do? It's, you'll get a whole lot of different answers because <laughs> it's, it's a lot of everything. So um, uh, in my role uh, in our DC office, uh, I, I'm leading our economic development work and our creative placemaking work, as well as um, a major place-based initiative that's focused around um, some neighborhoods, targeted neighborhoods in D.C., and I also do our policy work as well. And that's the 11th Street Bridge uh, project? Yes, Is that same uh, yeah, so we've uh, um, been close partners with the 11th Street Bridge Park since uh, 2013, and I've worked very closely with them on their equitable development plan and have actually launched an initiative that's targeted around the same geographic area where we're committing $50 million to invest in projects and nonprofits in the area that are supporting lower income families. Great. And you mentioned creative placemaking. I did, yeah. How, for how long has creative placemaking and arts and culture work been a part of what LISC does? Uh, for a long time now, actually, way before creative placemaking was was a thing mm -hmm. um, and it, back in the days when it was arts based community development. Um, we've been supporting, at least in the DC office, I've been supporting local nonprofits that are doing arts based work uh, for a long time now. And a lot of that support um, ranges anywhere from kind of technical assistance in terms of helping an organization think about uh, the process of securing their own building or um, how to more appropriately manage their board mm. um, to grant support for um, general operating, but also specific uh, programs like a training program for um, backstage folks at, at, at a playhouse um, to a, like a, a training program for, for lights use um, mm. as well. Um, and then all the way to financing. So helping these organizations actually secure a place in their city, in their neighborhood, mm -hmm. um, and continue uh, their work uh, with residents. So it sounds like there are a lot of um, intersections between the community development world and the arts world. Yeah, and I mean, ultimately the mission of LISC is to uh, help improve the quality of life in lower income neighborhoods. And what that means is not only do you need a, a safe and affordable home, uh, but you need access to high quality education, you need to feel safe in your neighborhood, you need access to healthy foods, and you also need access to arts and culture and a place um, where you feel at home and you're able to express yourself to um, whatever that is, whether it's playing trumpet or rooting for a baseball team. And we've also seen how arts and culture can advance some of those other goals that you mentioned, um, such as having a safe neighborhood. Definitely, um, especially around creative placemaking when we're thinking about um, addressing um, community safety issues, um, activating vacant, vacant space. Um, it, arts definitely plays a major role in that. Um, and it also helps the community uh, when that art is done with or by the community. Mm -hmm. um, there create, it creates a type of ownership over a space um, that definitely both addresses kind of the arts side of things, but also the community safety side as well. 